All right. In this video, we're gonna continue to learn some miscellaneous examples on uh, limiting probabilities. Um, we've learned a three definitions back in uh, this section. They are a stationary distribution. What does this mean? Is uh, um, that if we have initially this distribution. And uh, after this distribution multiply with the transition matrix, all right, uh, the distribution won't change. So this is like our initial distribution. And this one is uh, the distribution after one step. So, in this sense, uh, this distribution is stationary. And the long run proportion is, uh, is defined by uh, 1 over uh, m sub j. And this formula is valid for um, for recurrent and uh, irreducible Markov chain, uh, where m j is uh, the expected number of transitions uh, it takes. This Markov chain uh, goes back to j after uh, it left j. Last one is the limiting probabilities. It's defined by if the limit exists. It is defined by the probability of um, this Markov chain is in a certain state. All right. Um, it's limiting is because uh, we let this n go to infinity. And sometimes these three things um, they are all equal, but sometimes um, they are not equal, and sometimes uh, one may not exist. So uh, in today's video, we're going to uh, learn some uh, examples. All right. First example is, let me first write down um, the claim that is uh, not all markup chains have a stationary uh, probability distribution. All right. Um, and I can actually add this not all recurrent uh, markup chain have a stationary distribution. Um, recall that we've learned um, the random walk problem, which is the perfect example of this. That is random walk in 1D. In the textbook example, um, this is in uh, page Uh, 218 but in this video I'm gonna take another um, perspective to look at this random walk in 1d I'm gonna um, solve it from a stationary distribution point of view all right and we know that the random walk from I we have uh, let's say this random walk is symmetric um, we have one half chance. This markup chain goes to i plus one in next time step, and uh, we have uh, another uh, one half chance. This markup chain next time it goes to um, i minus one. All right, and. 
if we write down using a transition probability, that is uh, p sub i i plus one and p sub i i minus one, they are both one half. All right. If we want to solve for the stationary probability, that is, uh, if we write down this matrix equation and keep in mind, uh, now this is a uh, this is a vector with countably many entries. If we write down all the entries, what we have here is for any j, first we assume this pi equals um, dot dot dot. Uh, pi minus 1, pi 0, pi 1, dot, 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 is stationary, then uh, we have uh, after, and this is a uh, one, uh, one step transition probability matrix, if we write down this equation explicitly, it's going to be for any j, pi j equals um, i from negative infinity to infinity uh, pi i and uh, uh, times pi j, where pi j is a probability of transition from i to j. All right. Um, and we know that. If we have i here, um, this is like uh, we're at i uh, at uh, uh, time m. All right, let's say we're in state i. And think about this uh, transition probability uh, for this uh, index j. There are only two entries for this j that are not zeros. That's literally, um, this i here can only be uh, j minus 1 or j plus 1. Uh, this is like looking in uh, reverse that uh, if we are currently at j node, we'll say j state from previous time step. And we're currently at j. This j right here can only be, can only be transitioned from uh, j plus 1 or j minus 1. And this is uh, literally um, one half pi j plus one half uh, pi j plus one plus one half j pi j minus one. If we look more closely at this equation, we multiply two on both sides, then we subtract pi j to the right. Uh, one copy of pi j to the right, one copy of pi j minus 1 to the left, we'll have something like pi j plus 1 minus pi j equals pi j minus uh, pi j minus 1. And this is, a, this is what we call a recurrence relation, uh, and it's a linear difference equation. And we, we actually, we can solve it, and but here I'll omit the process. But this actually implies uh, pi j can only be a linear function of j, or is a linear function of, of j. This is like a difference uh, equation uh, we can solve. Um, so it's a linear um, function of a j, and it's in this form, all right? So for some constant a and b, um, 
And moreover, we have to make pi j uh, greater than or equal to zero for any j in uh, this minus infinity to infinity. Um, but uh, even if we give any non-zero b, this is impossible because uh, if b is positive, uh, there has to exist some uh, j uh, that's uh, negative enough so that pi j is negative. All right. So this fact actually implies uh, b has to be uh, zero. Which means this implies pi j is a constant for any j. And now here comes the contradiction. Um, in order that uh, pi, this infinitely long vector is a stationary probability, then we uh, derive that the stationary probability has to be a constant for any j, while we add, whoops, this means we add this infinitely many constant, all right? It equals limit of n goes to infinity n times a, and this equals 1. How is this possible um, if a is a non-zero number? I mean, if Z, a is an, uh, a positive number because it's a probability, then this sure goes to infinity. Now, if a is 0, all right? Uh, this is impossible because a times uh, n is already zero. This cannot be one. Uh, this proof, this actually proves uh, such pi dne. Uh, it's an alternate proof uh, than the textbook, uh, and I I like this uh, proof uh, more than the textbook gives about uh, uh, the mean transition times. Moreover, here's a remark. You guys can prove, um, here I'll skip. The remark is, uh, um, you guys can prove using Chapman chromography equation that the limiting uh, distribution, if it exists, uh, must be a stationary distribution. Okay, uh, this actually implies um, above in this uh, 1D random walk, we don't have a limiting distribution either. And the second example um, in this video is actually, we don't have limiting, um, no limiting uh, distribution, but we do have a long run proportions. Um, the example we actually gave in previous video is uh, one of uh, the periodic Markov chain. Um, for example, this is uh, uh, 0, 1, and 1, 0. 
as we can see, uh, this is uh, nothing but uh, we have two states, and from state zero, we have probability one jump to state uh, one, and we have uh, probability one uh, to jump to state uh, zero. And moreover, we can have a even a three by three matrix. And if you guys learn linear algebra, this is nothing but a permutation matrix. For example, uh, this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and uh, 1, 0, 0. In this case, it's, we have uh, three states. This is 0 jump to uh, 1, and 1 jump to state 2, and state 2 jump back to state 0. Um, for a periodic uh, markup chain with, say, with a finite state, um, first uh, finite state space, first. Apparently, a stationary uh, distribution, as long as, uh, as well as a limiting distribution, don't exist. However, we do have uh, pi j uh, is uh, equally likely uh, for any j equals zero one till n minus 1, totally we have n states, and they are periodic, all right? Um, I mean, this is apparent, uh, because uh, uh, that one proportion is like a, a totally what's the percentage of the time in each uh, uh, state, because the time spent at each state, when we let the time goes on indefinitely, it's like uh, equal. So uh, the long run proportion are the same. And next example I want to uh, say about uh, is about uh, irreducibility. In theorem 4.1, um, it says, um, the markup chain has to be irreducible um, and uh, positive recurrent. This is quite stringent. And let's uh, see um, the following example. What does this irreducibility uh, can affect the solution to uh, this uh, linear system we have. And let's consider the following example, that is uh, the transition matrix is a block matrix, all right? And think about, we have two blocks, and uh, we have, this is, uh, let's say, uh, a1, A2, B1, B2, C1, uh, C2, D1, D2. And the rest entries are zero. What happens is uh, this big mark of chain can actually be reduced to um, to sub markup chains. Um, so what happens is uh, this markup chain can be reduced to two irreducible markup chains. All right. I mean, if uh, uh, we assume a1, a2, and b1, b2, c1, c2, d1, d2 are all non-zero. 
This block of chain uh, has two separate block, and we uh, let denote this block as a uh, PA, and we denote this uh, block as PB. All right. And what happens is uh, for these two little sub mark of chains, we assume. Um, they have a stationary distribution, uh, respectively. It is uh, pi a equals pi a times p sub a, and pi b equals pi b p sub uh, uh, b. All right. At the uh, stationary. Uh, Probability, let's say the limiting distribution, um, or the long run proportion, uh, respectively, for uh, these uh, two sub Markov chains. Then what happens is the solution to the equation 4.1 for this big Markov chain is not unique because you guys can verify that then. It's very straightforward to verify. If pi a, we say pi a is pi zero, pi one, and pi b is uh, pi three, I'm sorry, uh, pi b is pi two, and pi three. Then um, we have a pi that is uh, c pi zero c uh, pi one one minus c pi two one minus c pi three is a solution for. Uh, pi equals pi capital P. This uh, P, this matrix, is this block diagonal matrix right here. For any, for any C is between uh, zero and one, and we can verify um, for any this C. First of all, uh. This pi is a probability because the summation of uh, uh, this one, these two entries are c, and the summation of these two entries are one minus c. So the summation of uh, these four entries are uh, one, and uh, uh, this implies solution is not unique. In this case, uh, the stationary probability is not unique, and uh, this actually implies this solution is for stationary distribution or stationary probabilities. And next, it implies the limiting probability, the limiting distribution. Uh, depends on the initial distribution. Uh, we uh, recall that for irreducible uh, positive recurrent Markov chain with uh, a finite state, and uh, the limiting uh, probability shouldn't depend on where this Markov chain is initially, but right now, if uh, we have this uh, special Markov chain uh, right here, all right, it actually depends on where initially we are, um, the distribution, what's the limiting probability.